we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign of what's going to happen to these other workers moving forward. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that everything is planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, those books are mandatory. They show you how the world really works, and this is so important, guys. Also, those who donate to the Cash Shop, Patreon, much love. And then also, those who are shopping at both stores, much love to you. Now, guys, of course, we get into actual Bitcoin and cryptos first. As we can see, we're moving down lower. Don't forget, guys, they need Bitcoin on the 5th. Not your financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research. But like I stated, guys, we're going to keep doing these pumps and dumps because we are in the speculation phase. We know the only reason why we pump because a lot of manipulation that was going on. We should have took advantage of that. Now we have to take advantage of the pumps and dumps. Remember to look at the actual indicators. We have volume, tether, and USDC. Guys, they're going to tell us where the actual markets are going. And guys, as we can see, the Bitcoin dominance has been taken away by XRP. Don't forget, guys, when you're looking at XRP, look at the volume. The volume is high. That means what, guys? XRP is going to come down. At the price that XRP is right now, this is where it should have been anyway. But it basically, we will come down a, a few percentage points just based on the actual volume. And guys, we know the only reason why we're dumping right now is CME. That's it. Don't forget CME is launching Ethereum futures February 8th. Now, guys, we have the Fed switching up. Remember I said I received that email from a follower. I want to thank that follower for sending that email. But they're going to be switching up the repos. So basically, on the 2nd and the 9th, they're going to stop the monthly and they're going back to the actual daily. And then, of course, they do their regular purchases already. But, guys, we have those facilities also on the 31st of March set to close unless Janet Yellen does something different. So we have to make sure we keep an eye on her. But this week and next week, we still get that check cut. And then it's like I stated, guys, they need Bitcoin on the 5th. But, guys, let's actually get into the actual news. We had Chamath send out a tweet, and like I stated, what all this was about, but we're going to go over it. We had Chamath send out a tweet that says that stockholders should get a 20% de decrease on, of course, capital gain taxes, and then over five years, they will be rewarded for holding the stock long term. Remember, I went over that. So basically, they wouldn't have to pay any capital gains tax. Now, guys, who would benefit from that? That's right. Only the wealthy. Remember, the top 10% owns 85% of the stock market. So what is he talking about? Remember, guys, I told you, it's problem, reaction, solution. The average person doesn't even own stock. So guys, don't forget right now, the Fed bought all the stock. Don't forget that. So I'm sure that top 10% owns 85. I'm sure that's probably about 95 right now after all what the Fed has done printing 20% of all currency in one year. That's right. So all the money that we've had in circulation, the Fed has printed 20% of that in 2020. 
Do not forget that. So, guys, when we see this GameStop, Reddit, Robinhood, Citadel situation, this is nothing but the Hegelian dialectic at its best. Because the only thing they want to do is switch you over to blockchain and make it tokenization so the whole market is digital. So, basically, what they did was they... When it came to the voting process, oh, everything's fraud, everything's fraud. We know in crypto land, they're working to put all that on blockchain. So, guys, we also know that securities uh, stocks are now being tokenized and put on blockchain. But, guys, they have to use the problem reaction solution because the people are going to beg for this. Here's the problem. It's all a fraud. Wait for the reaction, and we see the reaction on Twitter. Facebook, all on social media, the little guys to getting taken advantage of. Here's the solution. So guys, they're, they're going to run in with the solution of blockchain and tokenization because you're going to beg for it. And by begging for it, you're getting rid of all of your privacy. And you beg for it. That's how it works, guys. It works every time. But if you don't understand finances, you're going to fall for it every time. If you go and look at Jamal's tweet, everybody's praising his tweet because they don't understand finances. They don't understand who owns the stocks in the first place. The little guy's not going to benefit for what Jamal just said. It's going to be the top 1% that's going to benefit, guys. So let's make sure we see the agenda. And then also, guys, we had Block.1 say that uh, ProFi protocols and EOS can solve the solution because basically you'll have real-time settlement. So again, blockchain is a solution. And we know EOS has always been the top blockchain for China. So guys, let's make sure we're looking at the bigger picture. Remember, when it comes to the New World Order, everything is planned out. And we also have FTX token rallies 105% as interest and derivatives trading grows. So guys, we know FTX has been tokenized and everything. So we see the actual fourth industrial revolution, Society 5.0, is not only riding behind the C word, but then also riding behind the events they're putting on CNBC. The only thing I do is pay attention to it, guys. And then also, guys, we have Uniswap and Compound hit all-time highs. Remember what Brian Brooks stated? DeFi is the new banking. And then lastly, guys, we have... All the news coming out of Asia being negative again, because just like I stated, guys, right now we're still in the speculation phase. We're going to have our pumps and dumps, but we're going to be headed lower. So when I stated the beginning of this month, guys, when we were in the 40,000 range and I said we would be back in the 20,000s, the reason why is because I saw the shrinking of the facilities. Guys, that's where we got the pump from, the free money. But the fact is, guys, we have the news is coming out of India that they're going to be banning Bitcoin as usual. Come the bad news coming out. And then also we have the China New Year coming up, which is on the 12th. But I think they celebrate the event from the 11th through the 17th. So there will be less trading. But anyways, guys, we're going to be headed lower because basically those facilities gave us that pump the same way it gave the stocks the pump. Now, of course, we have Biden is going to be doing that big stimulus package, but that is going to be directed towards the fourth industrial revolution. We have to make sure we dig in, find what they're investing in, so therefore we can ride it the same way we did with the stocks on the last stimulus package, the one back in March. So definitely, guys, there's always opportunity for you to invest. You just have to make sure you're doing research. Remember, I'm not your financial advisor. It's not financial advice. Please do your own research. But basically, guys, when we're having these dips, it's a good opportunity to buy because basically we're going to pump again. And then, of course, you sell because we're going to dip. And you keep doing that. Hold that money and either cash, USDC, Tether. And then when we finally hit that bottom, then basically you go in and buy as much as you can. Because definitely, guys, 2021 is laying that foundation. 2022 is when we start to run. Remember I told you about Ameribor and Ethereum, LIBOR, derivative swaps. It's going to be a big event, guys. But, guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. 
Also, if you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance, the links are in the description, book links in the description also. And then don't forget about the stock channel, guys. Crypto teacher stocks. Basically, you have your cobalt, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, you got your at-home stocks, the C-word, the biotech stocks. They keep pumping and dumping. And while everybody's at home getting free money or waiting on that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks. And you all have a wonderful day.